statue this episode is going to be a little bit different we're going to use this to talk about some frequently asked questions we get regarding the paint that i use on my statues before we get into that though i just want to say first of all thank you this series about painting statuary has become very popular we're getting a lot of great feedback uh, i know it takes us some time to answer some of your questions that you email us and that but we try to do our best but that's the purpose of this uh, particular video is hopefully answer several of the questions that we have been getting over the past couple months about paint uh, what I'm gonna tell you in this video I want to make it clear this is my opinion I'm not saying that other people's opinions are wrong there are other paint uh, styles and, and uh, techniques that people use out there and that's fine I am all about experimentation trying new things I've been doing this my entire life I still enjoy trying new things learning new techniques and that but I'm gonna share what works for me that I learned doing this growing up in my family business over the last several decades the first thing I want to mention when it comes to paint for concrete statuary I do not have any specific brand that I use uh, I'm not sponsored by any company. I'm not here to talk about. Now, if there's a company out there that wants to sponsor me, hit me up and we'll talk. But that's besides the point. But no, I, I you want to know what I look for when I go to the store? What's the cheapest? That's what matters to me. It's all about the overhead, keeping it down. Uh, low cost matters. And no, I have never seen any difference between the cheap paints and the higher price paints. If there are the certain type of paint that I'm looking for, they all seem to work fine. Second of all, I do not use specific paint colors. I have a lot of people that have been messaging me when they'll see a video and I paint something, what color brown is that? What color green is that? It's just a green that I will change as needed. I'll add a little white to make it lighter. I'll add a little brown to dull it down, whatever. Uh, my recommendation, if you want to do it like I do, if you're going to be doing a lot of painting, go buy a bright blue and a dark blue, a bright green and a dark green. And then you can always mix and match as you need to make your colors. But no, I don't have specific colors that I can tell you other than it was a shade of green that I came up with for that particular project. All right, with that out of the way, let's talk about the actual paint that I use. And I'm gonna show some pictures and footage that we took at your standard store where you can find some paint. Now, first of all, I need to make it clear that when you're painting statuary, generally it's to be used outdoors. So that means you don't want interior paint. You don't want paint that you're gonna use on the inside of your house, your bedrooms and such. You want exterior paint. That is paint that is meant for outdoor use. I use latex paint, sometimes called acrylic latex. Latex paint is water-based. Water-based paint is perfect for concrete statuary because you can thin it using just water. It absorbs into the concrete. If you've saw, uh, seen my video on the base coat, you'll see how I actually use watered down latex paint to do a base coat that lasts a long time. Uh, I, I prefer it so much more than the oil-based paints and it's just easier to, to work with. So I prefer the exterior water-based paints, latex paints, and again, any brand is fine as far as I'm concerned. Now, I also prefer using flat paints, not satin, not semi-gloss, I use flat. Now, this is a personal preference. I mainly use flat for one reason. It is so much easier to work with. Almost everything I paint gets another coat, whether it's dry brushing, something over it. If you use a gloss paint, it is extremely hard to put paint over it and make it look nice. Gloss paint is fine if you're just doing a solid coat, making an item completely shiny white or you know a certain color but otherwise i highly suggest just using flat paints now when you go to the store you're probably not going to need a whole gallon of paint they will sell it in quart size smaller sizes these days they generally don't have a lot of colors to choose from you probably are going to have to get something mixed if you're looking for a particular green shade or something that's just the name of the game nowadays i'm sorry but uh, they'll mix it up for you just be a frugal shopper like I am, and you can get a quart of paint, usually for under 15 bucks, and that'll go a long way. Now let's talk about craft paints. I get a lot of people asking about the craft section because you can buy little tubes of paint or little bottles of paint for sometimes under a buck, and there's every shade under the rainbow that you could use. And here's the deal, folks. I do use those, but I use them sparingly. Those paints are great for little details on things here and there, eyes, little bits of color, they're not the highest quality paint though. I actually tried painting entire pieces using those paints. They look great at first, 
but it did not take very long out in the sun before those paints just faded away, peeled off. They just, they just weren't really good. But used in small little spots, you know, for like I said, the colors of the eyes, little colors on some of the animals, flowers, things like that. They worked fine for that. I do recommend though using the clear coat spray over it, which is another video of mine. Check out my uh, library videos to see that. But uh, use those sparingly, they're fine. Now you might see some craft uh, paints where it shows like, uh, you know, kids painting little crafts and they'll have a section of those. And sometimes those are really cheap. Just avoid those. Uh, they're fine for finger painting and little crafts for kids. They are not meant for statuary by any means. I tried them, it was a disaster. Don't even bother. All right, now the last thing I wanna talk about is spray paint. Spray paint seems like a great option because it's easy to use. You got all these different colors. I do use spray paint, but again, very sparingly. Uh, spray paint just does not last on concrete statuary. It can look great initially, but again, like those other paints, it does not take very long for them to sit out in the weather and in the sun, and they're gonna start to fade and just have these funny uh, discolorations, and it does not work great. However, I will use it in certain situations. For example, recently I uh, started making these brand new Scandinavian gnomes with these big, tall, pointed hats. They look great when they're bright red. That's the traditional look of these gnomes. Colors such as red and orange, even yellow, extremely hard to paint with. They, they usually take two, three, sometimes even more coats before they even start to look good. So sometimes what I will do in the case of say these gnomes, I will do two, maybe three coats by hand of the latex paint on the hat of that color, such as the red, and it'll still look a little swatchy. But then what I'll do is I'll take a good can of bright red paint and I will carefully paint over where I have already hand painted the red. Because I'm painting with spray paint that is red over latex paint that is red, it will last longer because as that spray paint fades in that, it's not gonna be as noticeable. So, <clears throat> excuse me, that's one of the tricks I use uh, with spray paints, but otherwise use them very sparingly. Of course, the one exception of this, of course, is the sealant that I use. Again, check my uh, videos to see that whole video about the sealants. But, that's all I use for paints, nothing fancy, nothing special. I literally just go to my local store and get whatever's cheap and handy. Sometimes I'll find it at a discount store where they'll have mixed match uh, cans of paint and I'll get it extra cheap. There's nothing special about it. And those are the paints I use to get wonderful uh, designs, wonderful finishes on all my statues. So I hope that answers your questions about what paint I use. I know it probably isn't as uh, direct as some people want it, but like I said, I'm in this to keep the costs down and make good statuary and uh, it seems to have worked all these years and I'm going to keep doing it. Uh, so till next time, happy painting and we'll talk to you soon.